Welcome back, Torture Glovers. Here and now, the end part. This is Torture Guy. This is Pigment. I shall be your captain once more. Now, before I start, I'd like to apologize for my rage in the last episode. I was not intending to rage. I did not do that on purpose. I I usually don't rage that much when it comes to games, but let's play Curse. That that's all I got saying. You know, sorry if if any of you got bugged because of that. <laughs> I just gotta calm down. Anyway, let's go to the final trial. This is so weird, it's... Okay, whenever I hit that capture button, it's like all the glitches hiding within the game go, Hey guys, let's go out now, let's show our pretty faces to the world. <laughs> and then your gaming ability goes, oh, pff, I'm out of here, I'm not letting you show your skills to the world. It's so funny. Alright. Now, to start off this day, you want to get 80 blues, 10 reds, and 5 yellows. Why? You shall see. <laughs> now, this day can be a little bit tricky if you're trying to do it. And there goes my phone. Of course. Oh. Missing one, but who cares? Yeah. One later, game now. I won't be on the internet. That wasn't my philosophy. Alright. Let us do it. Come on. Button mash, button mash, button mash the button. Come on. Alrighty then. Now, when they're working on that, you want to take all your reds, all 10 of them. And then you want to take them over to this fire bridge. And then you want to make sure that they are on the bridge. You do not want to throw them into the water. Once they're on the bridge, you want to go into this water, call them over. Check the camera angle if you don't like it. Then you want to guide them to the box. Dismiss them. You'll push it. And when, since, and when everybody is working on that, get your yellows. There. You gotta. Uh, this is gonna be tricky. Alright. Call him over with your whistle. Go on to this rock. Gotta be careful. Okay, throw him over. Activate the geyser. Oh my god, I can use the word activate correctly. Who'da thunk it? All right, everybody got bomb rock? Okay, good. Okay. So nerve wracking, I swear. All right. Okay, now you see, since they're not glowing idly, that means they are active. They are active bombs waiting to explode. You do not want to call them with your whistle. You want to touch them, okay? Trust me, I'm a professional. Well, as professional as you can be when you're 15. Well, I'm a captain. I mean, you guys know this. Okay. Hello. Alrighty then. I'm done with that. I'm gonna go over to this bridge. Knock it down! Alright. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna take our other two yellows. I want to use them to tear down this wall. Alright! Nice. Wow. You know, I never just realized just how good this game looked. <laughs> maybe it's the HD, maybe it's the... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the TV. Who knows? Damn, this game looks good. Now we want to get all our blues back in. We want to... How many... 16. Okay, so that's... Okay, 15. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Anyway, you want to get... How many more? Yeah, you want to get 15 more blue... It was reds. Excuse me. 15 more yellows! <laughs> blue, red, yellow, orange. I don't know. Where are the... 
Weird. <laughs> anyway, let's take out more reds. Now you're gonna need a lot of these guys. Let me tell you right now. Why didn't they withdraw? I'm telling you, withdraw. Alrighty then. Nice, all my reds are flowers. This will be very, very good for what is coming up. Yellow, get over here. We actually need you. I don't know, right? We're actually using yellows in great numbers. <laughs> okay, now, what you're gonna do, you see that plant? Do not go near that plant. What? Really, Red? Come on. And what you're gonna wanna do is just hug this wall. Trust me, the wall is your friend. Don't ever give it up, let it down, or desert it, okay? I'm telling you. Wow, that was pretty damn quick. Props to you guys. Okay. Get up. And there goes my phone. Once more. Alright. Now that we separated the reds from the yellows, we want to stockpile all our yellows with bomb rocks. Where did all those bomb rocks come from? Oh well. Um, I think 18 really should be... You know what? Yeah, it's enough. It, it, it's enough. Alrighty then. Gonna take all our reds there. I'm gonna get one yellow. And, oh god. This is the fun- oh, no, oh my god! <laughs> that always gets me. Not as scary as the baby long legs, but it's still pretty damn freaky. Anyway, this is the Emperor Bull Blacks. Not exactly the most attractive final bosses, but hey, whenever is it? Anyway, it's gonna do that. And once it sticks out its tongue, it will swallow up a bong pikmin. If it is a bong pikmin, then once it does that, kablooey! You wanna take this opportunity to swarm its face? Attack! Ah! And once it does that, you wanna just run, 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 run. I actually didn't intend to sacrifice a yellow there, it just ends up happening. Chances are, there will be a couple yellow casualties, which... Again, I don't like sacrificing Pikmin, but you might have to do so. Especially if you're not skilled at this game, or if you're recording a Let's Play, <clears throat> you may find the need to. Anyway, once it does that, it's gonna burp, and you wanna attack its face once more! Alright! Then you want to retreat, and then do it all again. Get another yellow? Hey, buddy. Buddy. Hey. Hey, ugly. Get over here. Dude, come on, turn around. Dude, my boy. Buddy. Okay. Now, when it starts drooling, that means it's probably going to stick out its tongue and swallow your pigment like that. That's a good sign for you, and for him, he gets a little snack. But unfortunately for you, you have to sacrifice a troop, but then you can attack his ugly face. Save more Pikmin lives. Anyway, retreat. Oh yeah, and another scary thing about this boss, this boss used to freak me out when I was little. Not anymore, obviously. But his tongue has no limit to how many Pikmin it can swallow up. Kind of creepy. Yeah, or you can have them throw rocks at him. Again, not the most effective strategy, but it, it can happen, you know? All right, it's gonna look for some snacks. It's gonna stick his tongue out. Sorry for having to sacrifice you guy. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. And again, I don't mean to sacrifice the yellow Pikmin. It just sort of happens. An unintended byproduct of war. Well, isn't every isn't war an unintentional byproduct of humanity, really? <laughs> All right. Kablooey! Ah! That's the battle cry of the Pikmin. All right, we got half his health down. Not bad. 
right? Just touch the yellow. Or two, you know, that, that that's okay, buddy. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Dude, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. You're kidding. Dude, come on, eat him. Thank you. You know, that's not my fault that the pigment has bad AI, okay? I wouldn't want to sacrifice him, but you know what? His AI left me no choice. All right. Whoa! Damn! I usually don't see him whip out that attack. That's new. Apparently he can jump like Michael Jordan. Oh God. Hey, dude, buddy, turn around. Dude, come on, turn around. You're regenerating health, I can see you. All right, it's done. Kablooey, and attack his face! Ah! I really hope, I really, that fool. That fool! <laughs> hey, buddy, over here, dude. Turn around, I'm not done with you yet. Dude, dude, come on. Dude, you're running out on my daylight, come on. Fuck. Fuck! Dude, 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 come on. <laughs> Buddy, dude, dude, really? Just knock it off, man. Okay. Finally, I get an attack him. Jeez. This fight usually goes so much easier for me. Again, let's play curse, everybody. Those fool! I hate the let's play curse. Zoe, no. So, hey, dude, buddy, turn around. Turn around. Dude. Bro. Bro. What the hell are you doing? Ah, oh, the AI for this guy really sucks, doesn't it? Oh my god, he actually threw it. It's a freaking miracle. He actually threw the bomb rock into his mouth like an intelligent freaking organism. That's pretty. Yeah! Yeah, victory. Woo! Me for victory! At long last, I found the final part, my secret safe, and it's as full as ever. How glad I am that I persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave this planet without any regrets. Now I even stop and pick up some souvenirs from my wife and kids on Planet Hawkins 8. Except for that episode 12. <laughs> uh, if I was a better video editor, I'd show you guys the list of all my fails. Anyway, he drops a good amount of pellets for you, but we're not interested in that. We're just interested in getting this thing home. Aw. Even my dog is excited. I'm like, aw, she's, she's in my lap. Aw. It's so nice of you. You're concerned about me. Aw, it's okay, puppy. It's okay. <laughs> Certainly an odd fight. <laughs> but then again, the second you hit the... Again. Okay, this is the last time I say it. Again, the second you hit the recording button. Whatever goes. Meh. Ugh. I finally recovered every ship part. Now I can return home to Hakate. He's certainly a happy feller. Now that he got his cash back. 
Oh, this is all what Omar's thinking. Yeah, I got my bank bag. Now I can spend more money on useless shit parts that I don't know what they do. <laughs> Aww. He has taught him the art of war! Light blue, pink, orange, black, green? What is this? So beautiful. Just beautiful. Ah, uh, hey, but all my records. Not bad. You got all the parts. And the five that ones that you don't need are the Nova Blaster, Space Float, Massage Machine, UV Lamp, and the Secret Safe. Everything else is needed for the ending. Zoe, we're not playing fetch now. I'll play with you later, okay? I promise. I promise. So, yeah, there's Pikmin. Like most people who let's play it, I have really, really fond memories of the game, of this game. Even, so, even more so since I, you know, first played it when I was four. I can never, uh, again, it's very much like Luigi's Mansion with me. I never could beat it. I never could get the good ending. I simply couldn't. I was too afraid. I was too concerned for the Pikmin's lives. I was I was not a very good captain, but you know, I've grown. I've become a good captain. I've become a good Ghostbuster. I have become a good guide. I have become a good torture guy. And I intend to become a better torture guy in the future through my let's plays. I remember I was gonna bring something up. I can't remember what. Oh yeah. Some of you may have noticed in the beginning that my Pikmin totals were a little bit different. That is because, as I'm sure you all know if you watched the previous episode, that... Well... The game kind of, sort of, glitched out on me. And uh, I just did not feel like playing that episode again. I, I didn't feel like playing through that day. And for those of you who have seen that video, you understand why, right? Oh gosh, that uh, that that nearly drove me insane. That was so that that got, that got my heart pounding. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I love Pikmin. I hope to see more Pikmin in the future. I know there ha I know there is Pikmin in the future. The sheer announcement of Pikmin Three just wow. That I, I felt a little cheer inside my heart. There was. That, that smelled of victory, that smelled of hope. I, Pikmin is just one of those series that, you know, means a lot. And I know I'm probably looking too far into this, but it got me, this game really got me interested in science, into space, into exploration, into biology. It just, 
it, it really helped see my interests today. I, and I can just really appreciate it for that. I know I'm kind of... It, it, it may seem like I'm overanalyzing this, and maybe I am, but... This game really does mean a lot to me. And it still will throughout the years. It's one of my favorite games. Anyway, now that I'm done with that, I will narrate the creature names. Breadbug. This creature's thick hide protects it from most attackers. Oh god. Oh yeah, and if you'll notice here, you may notice that the maps may look a little bit different. As you see those bridges back there look a little bit different from the ones that you see in the game, don't they? As well as a lot of areas look different. This is because these are from the beta. Now, the beta looks way different, and up until like a month, heck, I, I remember when my school used to give out, my Catholic school in like Pomona by the way, they used to give out these little um, Nintendo bookmarks. Like they would have an Animal Crossing one, a Pokemon Coliseum one, and a Pikmin one. And up until, and even when I got that um, bookmark, the beta was still official. Like the beta is huge. I'm the the Pikmin beta is one of the things that really interests me. I mean, heck, even if you see the uh, trailers at E3, again, the beta looks way different than it does the final game. I almost wish Nintendo. I, I know Nintendo sells the data for the beta somewhere. I really do wish that Nintendo would sell the beta, like copy it and sell it, and release it as like a Pikmin remix or a Pikmin beta or Pikmin Zero. I really think that'd be interesting because the beta looks really, really cool actually. Oh yeah, and you may notice that a. I hope I got the creature name right. No, not bumbling, swooping snitch bug. Yeah, a swooping snitch bug will only appear in the Force of Hope after day 15. And another difference between the beta and the final game. Gulix, that you only see in the impact site, does not appear in the forest naval. If it did, that'd be kind of scary. And the distance frame looks way different, doesn't it? Oh, now you hear the little Pikmin doing a... Like a... A victory tune. It's so cute. I mean, heck, you got the extraordinary bolt that back there. This distant spring looks so cool. And this game did get me into artwork and artwork the, the artwork of landscapes, <clears throat> as well as the artwork of weird creatures. I, I don't know, just something about this game really resonated with me, and it still does. I, and I, I know I'm fanboy gushing again, but hey, that's what Let's Players do, right? That's what Let's Players do. Uh, I love Nintendo. I I have so many respects for Nintendo. I mean, it. Can, I guess for some people it can be debated. It's it can be debated that they're not the best video game company in the world, but. Anybody can certainly justify that claim. If anyone said that Nintendo is the greatest video game company of all time, they have plenty of reasons to justify that. Even more so now since they got Monolith Soft from Namco, which contained a good half of which contained a good half of the Chrono Cross development team. So that actually explains a lot. And when people say Square Enix, oh, Square Enix isn't as good as Squaresoft, well, they can't be. Because, hell, they lost some of their greatest team, they lost some of their greatest employees to Monolith Soft. So if there were ever to be another great Chrono game in the next seven years or so, it would probably have to be on the Wii U. And it would have to be co-developed by Monolith Soft. And heck, they even registered Chrono Break in like 2001, and then the IP or whatever it's called disappeared in 2003. Square, make a Chrono Break. I don't care if it has to be released on the Wii U. They probably deserve it. Become good friends with Nintendo again. Hell, you even have the man, Yasunori Mitsuda, who wants to compose another track. Let the man do his thing, Square. <laughs> Let the man do his thing. Oh god, I, you know what, late, you know what, 
sometime down the line, you guys will know why I love Yasunari Mitsuda. But that is for another LP. Anyway, I realize I'm kind of getting off topic here. Oh, another difference from the beta. Yeah, that computer, it's not where those water logs on the ball are. Nor would it ever be. Uh, man, the beta interests me so much. <laughs> Fool, you can't swim. The happy end. Nintendo. Boy, another thing Nintendo has to change. Bring back the red logo! Why did you change it to the white logo? Why? <coughs> anyway, enough complaining. Although, I pretty much just gushed every bit of praise I could for this game. Anyway, this is Torture Guy. It has been an honor to be your guide, or rather, your captain. Apologize for that. It has been wonderful being your captain through this adventure. I will upload a whole bunch of bonus content. Here's a little promo for I guess. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next LP. What could it be? Well, I think I'm going to need a little bit more time to think about that. I'm going to have to think about that. I mean, until something triggers my thought as to what it could be, I really don't know what it will be. Anyway, goodbye, all you torture loving, are you lovely torture lovers? I bid you adieu.